Yeah, Micah, there were hundreds of not-so-subtle protests here at this football game tonight. The police flag, as some call it, was both waved and worn up in the bleachers. And this, of course, was an obvious response to the school officials banning earlier this week any Saugus football player from carrying the flag during pregame activities. When the Saugus varsity football team took the field tonight, three flags were waving, but one was conspicuously absent, the thin blue line. Uh, I just don't understand it. This whole world's gone nuts as far as I'm concerned. The blue and black flag, a symbol of support for law enforcement, had been carried out at previous games, kind of a tip of the hat to local police who responded to a mass shooting at Saugus High in November of 2019. But since then, some claim that the flag has been adopted by extremist groups and tainted with racism. Saying that we're disrespecting other people is ridiculous. Lexi Hawks' son, Wyatt, usually carried the thin blue line. But this week, the school district decided that the short-lived custom should be shelved out of respect for others. We appreciate uh, where everybody's coming from, and we'll continue to have that dialogue because we, we want to find ways to honor our law enforcement and uh, uh, welcome you know, opinions of everybody, which I think you see here tonight. But not everybody agrees with that decision. Nobody uh, discussed it. It was not a roundtable discussion. Therefore, uh, without a discussion, there is no democracy. The kids really needed to be... Uh, to be allowed to speak their mind, and if they wanted to fly the flag, they should have been allowed to do that. What began as a sincere act of acknowledgement has now become a politicized hot potato for the school system. It's really not about that. It's not about um, backing something and saying everything else is bad. It's just about saying, hey, we support the blue line. That's it. It was that simple. Um, it turned into something that it shouldn't have turned into. And the ban on the flag may not be permanent. The deputy superintendent said the dialogue about the flag continues and that no final decision has been made. Stay tuned. In Santa Clarita, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, let me throw it back to you in Hollywood.